Hey everyone, this is Anna, and thanks so much for visiting my channel. I am working on the next video in my uh, Sharing My Completed Card Stash series. I already did the Valentine, the Easter and Spring cards, the chicken-themed cards, the masculine cards, and the last video I did was the Thank You and Miss You cards. And so today I, today I thought I would work on the floral-themed uh, cards, and then I also have a stack of garden-themed um, cards as well, so kind of veggie garden type thing. Um, I'm going to start with the floral themed uh, cards and then if we have time in this video I'll do the garden themed ones but if not if it seems like it's running a little long I will do the garden themed uh, cards in their own video. So let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, this is the first car card I have to share with you and I actually have two uh, using the same image they're just colored uh, with different uh, color palette. This is a potting bench stamp and I really love it. I bought this um, unmounted stamp on eBay quite a while ago, actually. Um, so here it is colored in some bright, um, bright colors. And then I have it also painted in some uh, muted colors. And this technique I actually used, I stamped the image in um, like a probably vintage photo and then painted it um, with watercolor paints and then so the extra brown that you're seeing is actually being pulled from the stamped image itself whereas this one I stamped in black and painted it. So there's the difference in those two and I really love those cards and I love that image um, and I thought I would get a lot of questions about it so I went and pulled the stamp um, out of my stash. This is the stamp here. It's an unmounted stamp that I purchased on eBay and from a fellow Washingtonian, Al, um, Yvonne Albertron. Albertin. Yvonne Alberton. There we go. It looks like she's from Renton, Washington. So nice to support a fellow um, Washingtonian. Uh, but that's that stamp. And again, I just found it on eBay. And it doesn't have a name or anything on here. So um, if you're interested in finding it, I'm not sure. Maybe just search for her name. So... That's that, really lovely image. Um, let's see, here's one. I think this is a penny black image. Sending you sunshine, pretty cute. Um, here's one I made with a um, stamp that I carved out of a um, like a racer, a rubber carving block and uh, stamped it there in white and then the sentiment is from one of my whippersnapper designs cling mount sets and it says it's the little things you do that make all the difference and that's stamped um, and then, then embossed in white uh, here's a card made with images and sentiment from impression obsession there's a charming garden off the beaten path the birds and bunnies gather there to watch a smile and laugh really pretty image and it has a little bit of glitter on there um, here's one that I looks like I didn't quite finish. Um, anyway, card front that I watercolor painted. Just some pretty purple flowers. Um, here's one that's of a um, lupin. Or if you're in Texas, these could be called the blue bonnets as they grow wild there. So real pretty. I think that image is from Picket Fence Studio. Here's another one from... Uh, impression Obsession, which is a little seed packet image. Here's a little collaged um, card that I made using a couple of different images, probably from uh, Crafty Secrets, I'm guessing these two images came from. Just with some paper roses there, real cute. Um, here's some from uh, images from Impression Obsession and some dyes as well, Wishing You Sunny Days. It looks like in the background there I have uh, the uh, probably the ledger stamp stamped for some little detail. Here's a card I made with images and stamps from Picket Fence Studio. And I really love this teacup uh, and the image that's stamped on there. And then it's, I think it's a wild rose stamp. And then it's painted with some shimmery watercolors. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in there, but it's there and super pretty. Uh, here's one that I painted with images from Impression Obsession. Just these great big uh, peony. 
Here's one I made with images from High Hoax Rubber Stamps, A Flower for You, and I just love this little gal. And she's stamped and colored with alcohol markers. Here's one I made with images from some of my Whippersnapper Designs Cling Mount sets. And that paper in the background is the October Afternoon paper. Here's another one of my Whippersnapper Designs uh, images. And this image comes with the sentiments underneath it as well. So it's just a quick and easy single stamp um, and off you're running, coloring and ready to go. So it's real cute. It says, if I had a single flower for every time I think about you, I could walk forever in my garden. And let's see, here is a card I made with um, the California poppy image of mine from Whippersnapper Designs. And then this is a Whippersnapper uh, sentiment as well. And then it's just uh, um, stamped and uh, layered on top of some book paper that I dyed with um, distress inks. And I think I used a little bit of white gouache there to uh, add some white speckles in the background. And I really love this card. Here's one I created with images um, and dyes from Impression Obsession. I really love this card as well. I love this little bird in the heart with the script over the top. I love this little postage sentiment here in the background. And there's actually a little wooden feather back here uh, behind that really pretty blue flower. And then these feather dies are from Impression Obsession. So I love that card. I have a whole stack here and it keeps sliding around on me. Um, <laughs> Here's another card made with images uh, from Impression Obsession, these little rose overalls. And it looks like I have some dies stacked up here from Impression Obsession as well. Really cute. Here's one I made with an image from Stampin' Up. I think this is, um, oh, Beekeeper, Betsy Beekeeper, I think is her name. Yeah, Betsy Beekeeper. I love the little bee stamped in the background here. And she is watercolored with Stampin' Up! Reinkers. And she's really cute. And this is quite an old stamp. You probably have to just find that one on eBay if you don't already have it in your stash. Um, here's a card I made with uh, one of my stamps from Whippersnapper Designs, which is now retired. And I don't actually remember the name or the maker of this uh, flower garden with the birdhouses in the background. I don't remember who made that stamp. Um, but I think this card is really cute. I used some whitewash cardstock in the background and uh, the image is colored with um, uh, Stampin' Up! Reinkers and I did add some glitter here to the hollyhocks. So, really cute. I love that card. Obviously, since I have yet to be able to send it out to anyone. <laughs> and let's see. Um, here's another one of my Whippersnapper stamps. Uh, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you. And this sentiment is also um, included when with the stamped, um, the stamp image as well. So it's a quick and easy uh, one-time stamp and you're ready to color. So I think this card is really cute. I use this stamp a lot. It's one of my favorites. And then it looks like I just have a handful more from the uh, garden flower garden theme. Um, this is one of my stamps from Whippersnapper Designs. It's the daisy that's uh, um, stamped with Versamark and then embossed with white embossing powder and then watercolored. And then the sentiment down here is one of, from one of the cling mount sets. But I just love this flower. I think this is one of my all-time favorite images that I've done for Whippersnapper. So I think it turned out really pretty. So there's that card and then I have more done in that same similar style and using the same sentiment oh no similar sentiment um, so this is the poppy image also from whippersnapper and then here's the dahlia Isn't that beautiful and those pearls purples and blues love that and then here is that um, daisy done again in some darker colors I was having a lot of fun with the shimmer powders on this card, but they're so pretty. 
And then on the back side is another one of the dahlias. Really pretty. And then the last couple cards I have in the garden, the flower garden theme, um, is this one here. This is from Impression Obsession. Again, just the cute little California poppies. And then I use them again here on this card. So I'll put them side by side for you. So really clean and simple cards, easy to make. So I think I'll go ahead and start a different video for the um, vegetable garden themed cards uh, just to keep these videos right around 10 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you watch the next one too. Thanks so much. Bye.